quick filing for South Carolina. Um, you should, you should just be going to my doorway uh, door .gov and then log in with the username and password. It's going to ask you for security code, get sent to your email. Use that security code to log in. For, for this client, um, they closed their account, their sales and use tax account, the registration account on June 1st. However, they still need to file their last return for June 30th. So we're gonna go ahead and file. And are you filing all zeros in this return? So for this client, it's yes. We are filing all zeros, but let's say we weren't and you extracted the sales from your Amazon account or from your Walmart account or from both. Here you would put a thousand gross proceeds of sales, um, out of state purchase subject to tax, total gross proceeds of sales um, of inventory for, for own use, um, zero sales and use tax, so uh, allowable deduction. So this is where we're gonna set view, edit, state deductions. And we're gonna hit this, and then type of deduction is, uh, let's see, exempt sales. Um, sales for resale, it could be, we're gonna hit sales for resale, and we're gonna go ahead and put a thousand here. Gonna hit OK, and the total amount of deductions is a thousand. Um, I'm not sure why this is still at a thousand, but let's do that. Net taxable sales, and we hit next. And enter the country for which you had taxable sales. So predict us for full delta tax type. So we don't have taxable sales. So we hit next. Net schedule for local taxes, capital project tax, okay, local option tax, all this total. Um, net taxable amount, net sales and purchases. So this is worksheet local tax level deductions. So here it's it's exceeding because we just have to go ahead and view and edit local deductions. Again, we're just going to do a for resale, sales for resale. We're going to put this at a thousand. Now that zeroes out. Go ahead and hit next. Sales and use tax, a thousand thousand zeroes out. Total tax and sales and use tax due, um, zero, zero, zero. Then we would hit submit here. Okay, that's if you were um, running this as somebody who was actually doing sales. Um, for us, we're filing a zero dollar return. So I'm gonna go back to the very beginning here and I'm gonna just hit zero. So I'm going to cancel this and file this return because they did zero sales in the month of June, we're filing all zeros return, and it's yes. So we just hit next. And we hit submit. And lock up the password, and give them a pause. And then you just hit okay. So I'm gonna end it here. Um, you can just put the password, hit okay, and it uh, completes the filing. This is a South Carolina file and how to do it both if it's a zero filing or if you actually want to input um, the numbers from your sales reports. Okay, thanks.